What's up? God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Begin to swipe and share. God bless you, everyone. How you guys doing? I have not been on Periscope for a while. Yes, it's good to see you guys. I miss you guys. Amen. I thank everybody that uh, supports the ministry that um, souls in the ministry that reads the magazine. God bless you. God bless you. Good to see you, Prophetess Melody. God bless you. God bless you. So, you guys, I've been MIA. Happy New Year's. I just want to come on here and uh, I wish you guys a happy New Year's. Amen. I want to talk to you guys about a lot of things. Amen. I uh, have to get in a place where I just kind of withdrew from the crowd and I had to seek God about some things and I had to make sure I was in his presence. Amen. I know a lot of times we get so busy and we just pour out, pour out, pour out, but we don't get into a place where God can pour into us. So um, I'm excited, you guys. I got a word for 2018. Um, I'm going to release that. Um, I've been doing some great things. God bless you. God bless you. Happy New Year's. Um, my new book come out tomorrow. It's called Conquering the Mind, a daily devotional. This comes out tomorrow. You can get this on all major retailers, Barnes and Nobles, uh, anywhere books are sold. You can get this book. All right, it's awesome. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that um, really, really quickly. Um, I want to show you the magazine, Rejoice Essential Magazine as well. Um, and then, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you for joining. So we're going to talk about some good, good things today. Amen. Uh, School of the Prophet starts tonight. I'm excited. You know, I'm taking last calls. So if you want to sign up for the School of the Prophets, just send me an email. It starts tonight at 7 o'clock. So I'm really excited. I set myself down. You know, I was doing School of the Prophets like maybe three times a year. And I set myself down just to perfect it, uh, just to seek God on about something. Because so many people out here got Schools of the Prophets, but this one is different. Amen. And I really sought God and God gave me so much information. He opened up my eyes so much in the scriptures. Uh, and I began to see different things. So I'm excited. I'm, God bless you, um, Coretta. God bless you, woman of God. Happy New Year's. Um, so I, I'm I'm excited. And one more thing, while I was away, I wrote a book. I wrote another ebook. It's on the supernatural, and I'm going to offer that book to you guys for free. So I'm going to, if you're subscribed to my mailing list, you will have access to that. You know, it's only for people that subscribe to my mailing list, and you get a free ebook from this ministry. Thank you so much. Um, all my information is in my profile. It is, uh, my, my email is info at prophetisk.org info at prophetisk.org or it's info at kimberlyhargraves.com amen yes you can you can email me um if you want to be a part of school this is the last uh last clearing call for that amen we're going to go higher tonight i'm really excited amen so let's just get into this really really quickly guys one of the things that this ministry does we do uh uh, uh a newspaper a magazine at the first of the month all right, so if you're interested in getting your ministry featured in Rejoice Essential Magazine, contact me, email me, amen, and we can do an exclusive interview and get your, uh, you know, some more exposure. All right, this magazine is global, and I'm not just saying that. No, it's global. I have statistics to back it up. All right, different countries, the Netherlands, Australia, um, different countries I never even heard about, you know, so I can just go on and on and on uh, about this magazine. I want to show you guys this really quickly. Um, and then I want to get into this prophecy that I heard, all right? And this, um, let, let me show you this really, really quickly. God bless you. So this month we had, let me just wipe it off because it looked kind of blurry. Okay, that's better. This month we had Prophetess Valerie Moore, uh, Burris, Burris. Uh, so I did an exclusive interview with her and her ministry. I love her ministry. So this is the magazine. You can get this magazine. You go to azoo.com or you go to my website. My website is on the bio and you can just look through the magazine. It is free. It is free. All right. And the magazine is interactive. So you can click on it and it will take you um, to the websites or whatever. Everything is interactive. So you can click on it. So you don't have to be typing things in. Look, you guys, I made nachos. Don't those look good? I made that for this magazine. All right, so that's Jennifer Workman. She was featured. She reached out to me. All right, and I believe in helping other people. So um, my husband takes uh, photography. We have testimonies in here. If you want a book to be featured in here, reach out. All right, so this is just a magazine. You know, I write. I write. You know, I'm a writer, so I write a lot. 
all right and other books you know a lot of good things we have a publishing company if you want to get your book published amen so we, we do that too all right so this is the exclusive interview that i did with uh dr valerie moore boris it's in here and it's a great interview it's about accountability a lot of people don't want to be accountable in the body of christ you know so she talked about that really good and it, it was a blessing so this is the magazine and i always have a sinner's prayer in here because i don't know who's reading this magazine all right but i pray that somebody get saved in this uh magazine when they bought it when they read it all right all right so this school of the prophets is tonight i'm, I'm excited all right <clears throat> so that's the magazine so it is absolutely free so if you're discouraged you need encouragement go get the magazine all right go get the magazine and if you would like an interview with me uh reach out to me and i can feature you inside the magazine you know a lot of you guys you got businesses you know products you know reach out so i can put you inside the magazine god bless yes I, that's why that's what i said I, I told god that i'm gonna go back to the basics so many times in this walk we lose you lose focus. We forget about what ministry really is. Ministry is about spreading the gospel of Christ Jesus, not our names, not our platforms. So anything that I do for God, I have a sinner's prayer in it. All right. Because we're all called to do the work of an evangelist. We're all called to go out there and evangelize. Right. All right. So let's just get into this word. All right. So if y'all subscribe to my email blast, I gave out a word. Um, and I said, 2018 is the year of achievement. But then the other night I was praying and the Lord, he gave me another word and the word that he gave me, uh, the other night, he says, 2018 is the year of producing fruit. I was like, what? The year of producing fruit. So many people out here, they're stuck. They're stagnant. They're going through the motions. They're faking. They're pretending to be something that they're not. You know, many people can't tell the real from the fake. They can't tell the real from the fake. It seems like Christians, the people with the title of Christian, I feel, I feel an anointing, my God. People with the title of uh, apostles, bishops, you can't tell them apart from the world. And that's sad. So God is going to put his people in a position. If somebody sent confirmation, he's going to put his people in a position where they have no other choice to produce some fruit. Amen. See, the scripture tells us about uh, false prophets. We, we shall know them by the fruit, right? We should know them. We should know children of God, you know, that they're different, amen, by the fruit. And the fruit that I'm talking about is, you know, the, the fruit of the Spirit. I'm talking, you guys, about, um, I'm talking about love, you know. Do you have the love of God radiating out of your pores, amen, or are you just the devil reincarnated? You know, it makes no sense. You go to somebody's church, you try to give them a hug, praise the Lord, sister, they, they got an attitude, God said no. God's dealing with his people inside, you know, as never before. You know, he's tired of his people not growing. He's tired of his people not producing. He's tired of his people just being stuck. All right? You know, joy. Amen? God's children should be in the position where they can, you know, it's just amazing. Some of the things we go through, we can have joy. Count it all joy when we go through various trials and tribulations. Amen, where, where his children are not falling apart because they get bad news. Jesus, you're going to produce some joy this year. Amen, where you were sorrow before, it's not going to even get to you. You know, peace. God's going to have so much peace in your life this year. Some of the things that we, uh, you know, not fake joy either, true, genuine joy. Joy, inexpressible joy. You're going to have peace as never before where, you know, peace that surpasses all understanding is going to guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Peace. That little things are not going to get to us. That we won't sweat the small stuff anymore. Jesus. Peace. Long-suffering. Patience. Long-suffering. Fruit. God is producing fruit. Gentleness. Gentleness. You know, Jesus, in, in in his people this year, as never before, faith, meekness, temperance, self-control. We're not, you know, so anxious to go in front of him and get, you know, and do things and uh, that's outside of his will for your life. This is what he told me. <laughs> 
you know, there's so many prophecies out there. They're, they're like the feel-good prophecies. And I know this, this word ain't for everybody, but I had to tell you guys what he told me. Amen? But what about fruit? What about your inward man? What about your conditions of your heart? You're not going to be able to fake it no more. I mean, you're going to produce. Whether God gets you in a situation where, you know, you're on your knees and seeking him, you know, God just wants your attention. He just wants your heart in your time. Let me go on to the next part. Amen? Listen, God is calling his people to higher levels of consecration, prayer, fasting. That's right. Condition of, condition of the mind. When was the last time you pushed back the plate and really sought him? And really just put all your devotion and say, God, I, I want you more than anything. God, I'm tired of, you know, faking it, God. Lord, I'm tired of playing games with you, God. God, I want to be real, Lord. I want this relationship to be real. I'm tired of neglecting your presence. I'm tired of, you know, just being outside of your will. God, I want to be serious with you. See, we got to get in a position. Amen? Because we don't want to miss God. We don't want to miss what God has. <sighs> Listen, did you know Jesus wept? Jesus wept. Why did Jesus weep in the world? Because they missed their hour of visitation. They missed their hour of visitation. They couldn't even recognize Jesus, God, in their midst. Come on now. We don't want to miss what God has. We don't want to miss our time of visitation. Let's talk about achievement. This also is the year of achievement. Many of you guys got ideas, projects, things that you want to do for God. And it seemed like, God, I tried it before, but it didn't work out the way I wanted to. Try again. Amen? Try again. I prophesy this is going to be your year to achieve stuff. You know, some of you want to write the book. This is going to be a year where you write that book and more books. Some of you, you want to launch this business. This is going to be a year that you launch the business and more businesses. Amen? You're going to achieve. Hallelujah. Come on now. God's going to cause some things 2018 to be fulfilled in your life. Amen. He's going to cause some things to be fulfilled in your life. Jesus. See, God is dealing with some of his people right now. So you can get to a place where you can have more, see more. Amen. Hear him more. Hallelujah. Yes, that's right. I was just sitting here saying I will carry investments. One more thing I want to say before I move on, because I don't have a lot of time. Um, tomorrow night, Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m., I'm going to do the prophecy call that I used to do. Um, if you're sick, bring the sick people who need healing in their bodies. Um, you know, if you want a word of the Lord, amen, I'm going to open up the, the prayer line. And, um, you know, we're going to flow. We're going to flow with God. So it's going to be awesome. Amen. I know a lot of people said, you want to do the prayer call? Yes, I'm going to do the prayer call tomorrow night and Saturday night at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. All right, so put that on your calendar. Amen. All right, so one more thing I just want to tell you guys before I get off of here. I just want to give somebody a quick word out of this book, my new book, Comfort in the Mind, A Daily Devotional. What you need healing from, woman of God. Amen. I believe God to heal you right now in Jesus' name. All right, so I've written uh, 14 books in like three years, amen? So I'm, I just give God the glory for that. Uh, out of my pain, birth um, book writing, so I, I thank God for that. All right, so never, uh, you know, just nothing with God is wasted. Nothing with God is wasted, amen? God can use the darkest uh, pain that you went through to, to birth something great in your life. And uh, evangelists, right now, I send forth the fire of God upon you, and I command that back pain to break off you in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire of God. I command that pain to leave in Jesus' name. Woman of God, do you feel heat in, in your lower back? The woman of God that says she had heat, heat pain. Uh, I said heat pain. I feel heat in my lower back. Do you feel heat in your lower back, uh, evangelists? You feel heat? Uh, hallelujah. Give God praise. 
Give God praise. Hallelujah. Can you, can you get up and walk, evangelist? And let me know if the pain is gone. Can you get up and walk? And let me know if the pain is gone. I don't feel any pain. And y'all heart me up if you like what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Yes, God will give you praise, God. God is so faithful. God is so faithful. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let me know if the pain is gone, woman of God. She said, oh my God, I don't feel pain. I feel heat back in my lower back, but I don't feel pain. You know, y'all swipe and share. Amen. Heart me up, swipe, share. Yes, God is good. God is good. Amen. So let, let me just move on. Amen. And just begin to move. I, I prophesy the more you move, that pain has to leave. Amen. Yes, yeah, she, she said she don't feel no pain. Y'all give God praise. Woo! Y'all give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Jesus. God is awesome. Amen. So let me read a little bit out of my new book. Like I said, you can get it off for of all major retailers. Amen. We have a publishing company. So if you want to get a book published, if you need uh, someone to help you get your book published, I'm the person. I thank God uh, just for uh, allowing me to help his people in that, that way. Amen. Because books are legacies. Amen. When you leave this earth one day, you want to leave a legacy behind. Amen. So write a book and let that be part of your legacy. All right, so in Conquer the Mind, a daily devotional. This book came about because many of you guys know that follow this ministry. I had anxiety for five years. Uh, the enemy would tell me I was going to die. He's going to kill me, you know, for five years. And I wasn't saved then. I wasn't, you know, uh, walking in my purpose in life. And I didn't know how to fight it. So one day uh, I was trying the medicines, uh, all kind of anxiety pills. It only made things worse when it would like come off, when it started to withdraw off of me. And just, I felt horrible. So then I was like, well, you know what? The therapy ain't working, the counseling ain't working, the drugs ain't working. I'm going to cry out to God. I'm going to cry out to Jesus. So I cried out to Jesus and he took me through the deliverance process and he set me free. He set me free where the things I couldn't do before, I do them now all the time. I couldn't speak in front of people without shaking or shaking. I couldn't eat in front of people without feeling like I'm going to throw up. I couldn't ride in the car with people without getting car sick. I couldn't meet new people without having an anxiety attack. I was a hot mess. Amen. So God set me free. So in this book, I give strategies. Amen. And when I say they're anointed, they're anointed. You know, I got testimonies uh, to back up this, that. You know, the books are anointed, that people have encounters with God when they read these books. Amen. These books aren't for me. These books are for God's people. Amen. So, in Conquering the Mind of Daily Devotion, I'm going to read um, Devotion 20. Devotion 20. Amen. And it's reading uh, from Isaiah 65, 17. Uh, every day I put a, 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 a scripture in there for meditation. A scripture for meditation. Because, let me tell you something. One day, God convicted me so bad, he said... You have lost the art of meditation. And I got convicted. I said, you're right, God. I did lose that. I don't even meditate anymore. So I had to sit myself down and begin to meditate on God's word. And as I begin to meditate on his word, his presence will come so strong in my room. He will come so strong in my room. And yeah, it just changed my life. Meditation changed my life. So in my devotions, all of my devotions, you'll see a scripture of the day for meditation. So take the time out and meditate on it. Reflect on it. What does it mean to you? Digest God's word. You know, get his word inside of your heart. Allow God to write his word on in, in our minds. Amen. Yes. Uh, for, for Izzy or Lizzie, excuse me. On my website, I have free prayers, free devotions. If you go to my website, um, for anxiety and fear and all kind of stuff. Go on there and look for it. You, you can see a plethora of information. Amen. All kind of free things. All right. This ministry, we do offer a lot of free things. The magazine is free. If you subscribe to my email blast, I send out free prophetic teaching. I'm about to give away a free ebook next month. Or probably, I'm trying to get it done by the end of this month. Amen. Check it out. Free. All right. So Isaiah 65, 17, it says, for behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. Amen? So God is doing something new. Come on now, this is a new year, a new season. 
amen, the things that we had in 2017, we're not going to bring into 2018, you know, you're going to have a new mindset, a new outlook on life, amen, you're going to begin to forget about the disappointments and the failures, the things that didn't work out, you're going to begin to see things how God sees things, you're going to begin to, you know, okay, God, you got a great plan for my life, you're going to give me an, uh, a future and a hope, amen, so, you know, let me tell you this. Yep, God can do a new thing in your life to the point where your past is unrecognizable. What am I saying? I used to be an exotic dancer. You know, people look at me like, nah, I can't see it. Praise God, amen. You know, some people, you have a horrible past, a horrible, you've been to some horrible things. But when you get, when God gets a hold of you, one encounter where God can change your life, where God can do something brand new inside of you. Amen. You may be a fornicator. Uh, you, you, you used to be a fornicator. Amen. I prophesy if you are, I pray for deliverance. Uh, Jesus name. Amen. You may have been a fornicator, a drug dealer, a prostitute, a theft, a liar, a slanderer. But now I prophesy that you are a minister of fire. You are a minister of fire. What do I mean? That means you got an anointing. Jesus. You see, God just healed a woman on here. She had back pain. She had back pain. Ten years ago, I couldn't even operate in that. Amen. I prophesy you're getting ready to operate in a stronger anointing where the kingdom of God is going to be demonstrated through you. How many people on that? How many people on this broadcast want God to demonstrate His kingdom through you? <laughs> Are you tired of being stagnant? You know, I'm talking about spiritual growth. Hallelujah. Lift up hands, people of God. Lift up hands. Amen. I feel an anointing for release. I feel an anointing for release right now. Lift up hands. And I send forth the fire God upon you in Jesus' name. Fresh fire, God. Fresh oil in Jesus' name, God. Well, God, you'll be able to demonstrate your kingdom with signs and wonders following God through your people. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Receive it. How many people feel fire on their hands? How many people feel that anointing on, your, on their hands? Let me know. My hands are on fire. How many people on here felt like you receive? You feel fire on your hands. Hallelujah. You feel it. Amen. You feel it, Jesus. God, I give you praise. You feel the heat. Receive it. Go out there. Change the community. I don't care if you're on your job can still use you i don't care if you have an office job or if you're an uber driver a taxi driver i don't care if you work the cashier if you if you do hair i don't care what you do amen god can still use you to demonstrate his power right where you are amen one hand is warm somebody on here on your right side like in your groin area, maybe it's like your upper, like your hip, like your socket. Go and see your hip on the right side. It's, it's painful there. Who are you? It's painful there. Somebody right now, you're watching me. And it's, it's kind of sore right there. God bless you. Come on now. I just want to get you healed. Amen. I still feel it on me. It's not lifting. Right side. It's like kind of right here. It's kind of sore. It's like maybe feel like it's it's a screen. Uh, uh, Whatever uh, your muscle. You have pain in your kidney area. Is it on the right side? We're gonna pray. Uh, you're gonna. You're about to be healed, woman of God, Sh Shaquita. I curse that pain at the root, and I send forth the fire of God upon her. I command that pain to leave in Jesus' name. Okay, get up, uh, Sh Sh Shaquita. Amen. I feel an anointing for healing. Let me know if that pain is gone. Amen. It's called the the lilac crest hip area. Amen. I, I do feel I do feel uh in, in your left side on that lower back. It's kind of like right here. 
it feel like a it was a little throbby just hit me i could i command that pain to break and i feel a, i feel fire right there do you feel fire right there shaquita healing on your uterus amen holly lucy coretta said uh you feel fire amen coretta said i was at work listening i pray for her client's left foot uh, back and it was healed amen and sometimes she said not yet i sent for a fire just begin to move i bind up the strong man of affirmity sometimes when god gives you stuff you know it may seem like you may miss it but trust god the holy spirit is always accurate always accurate you know her client was not even on the broadcast you know i called it out but she was on the broadcast and she was connected to her client so her, i think her client wasn't even in the house she went to go find her client, and she said that their, their left foot was healed. Come on, that's God. Amen? Just you being here, you can stand in proxy for your family. You can stand in proxy for someone that, you know, that's on your heart, and God can heal them just because you're here. Amen? I, I feel the fire. I feel fire. She really didn't believe me, wanted to believe me, but I told her, but God healed her. Amen. We'll show her the broadcast, uh, Coretta, where we called it out. I think it was on YouTube Live. Amen. I feel fire going through that area. Amen. And watch somebody come back later and tell me, oh, you called it out. We should have testified. Amen. Let's give God praise. Let's give God glory. Shaquita, how you feel? You feel it now. Amen. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for healing Shaquita, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. And that's another thing. I can, I can go on and on about this. You know, just trust God. If God put an impression on your body, call it out. If God flashed flash a name before your face before you, call it out. God's not going to lead you astray. Amen. Let me get back into this teaching. Every time I try to teach, I just, uh, amen. All right. So, you are a child of the Most High God. Somebody put that up here. I'm a child of the Most High God. Amen. God can change the direction of your life. Come on now. Where you had plans for your life, but God interrupted them. Amen. God bless you, said. God bless you. Let me say that again. Many people had plans for their lives, but God said, that ain't so. That's not, that's not what I want for you. I, I want better for you. Amen. And it seemed like God interrupted your plans. But this is uh, when you trust God's plan. This is when you build a level of spiritual maturity. See, I wanted to go to medical school. But God said, nope. He shut every door. I didn't understand it. I said, well, God, my GPA is high. I got over 100 hours of community hours, community service hours. You know, I thought I had, you know, the, the lady that interviewed me said she loved my personality. She gave me her email. I was just sure I thought I had it. I was sure that I was going to get accepted in med school, but then God closed the door. God interrupted all of my plans. Amen? Jesus. Oh, that, that's a word for somebody. Somebody on here right now, you're getting frustrated. Some people are mad at God because God is calling you this way. God is rerouting you and shedding doors, but he has something for you. Uh, Jesus. But you can't get mad. I need you to embrace it. God, okay, I, I'm going to yield God. God, I'm going to yield, God. This, this is un uncomfortable, God. I don't understand it, God, but I know, God, as I yield to you, I know you're going to reveal everything later. Give me a greater understanding, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, you can't be frustrated. God's going to make it up to you. Amen. Hallelujah. See, this is the thing. And this is for the people that just receive that impartation. And you said you felt the fire of God on your hands. God will put a burden upon your life. His burden. His burden. Instead of yours. He will put desires inside of you where you want to go out and heal the sick. When every time a sick person gets in front of you, you feel an anointing to go out there and lay hands on the sick. To prophesy. You feel an anointing. So when you see somebody hurting and broken and lost and hungry you feel the compassion of god he will change your selfish ambitions with his ambitions 
Hallelujah. So listen, hallelujah. God will reroute us. Amen. And close doors to lead you on the right path. Lead you on the path that he has for you. Hallelujah. So God is always doing new things. This is a, like I said, a new year, 2018, new year, new season. He's doing new things, great things, better things. You know, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Amen. I prophesy we're going to walk into these things. We're going to walk into these things. We're going to access them. This year, this is the year of achievement. This is the year that we're going to produce fruit. When I also talk about fruit, this is the year where, hey, God, I know I'm anointed. God, I know I'm called to this ministry, that ministry, and I'm doing everything you told me to do, but it seemed like I'm not getting the response. This is the year you're going to produce. This is the year you're going to reap what you have sown. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is the year that you're going to walk into it. This is the year that you're going to fulfill it. Hallelujah. So, what am I saying? Because I'm getting ready to come to a close. We can't keep reflecting on the past. We can't keep reflecting on the things that didn't work out, shoulda, coulda been. We can't keep on doing that. We can't put our hand to the plow and look back. No. Amen? We can't keep taking unnecessary baggage with us. We can't get weighed down. This is, listen, shut some people off. You're not going to come to me and gossip about somebody. You're not going to come, I'm, I'm at your trash can. You're not going to come to me and pour out your garbage. You're not going to come to me and, 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 and be a, spirit, a leech of the spirit. No, I'm going to set a boundary between me and you. Amen. I'm going to love you for, from a distance. Amen. I'm not going to compromise my walk with God. I'm going to get the people out of my cell phone that don't mean me no good. I don't care if you don't like me. I'm going to be my all for God. This, you know, I'm just calling this out for some people on here. Amen. I, I, and I pray for you, uh, Mobley. And I used to be a Buddhist. She said I used to be a Muslim. I used to be a Buddhist. But God saved me. Amen. And the person on here that said you, you were Muslim. Amen. And I, you know, God can change anybody. Amen. I almost died. I can give my testimony. I almost died. And the power of God showed me he was real. So this is why I'm on fire for God. Jesus Christ. He, he came. He, I, I done had about 10 visitations from Jesus. Around 10 visitations. Where he come appear to me in my living room. In a dream. I could just see him. Like, here, like you see me right here. I can never doubt him. I can't ever say that he, he, he's not real. Amen. I can go on and on and on about when I was a Buddhist. But to glory to God, God can save. Amen. God wants to save you on here today. Hallelujah. So listen, we got to change our mindset this year. We're going to change our mindset. We're going to believe God. Amen. We're going to believe God for the miraculous. We're going to, we're going to believe God for the impossible. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to have hope this season. We're going to have hope. You know, this this is your year. This is your year to get married. This is your year to have success in your business. Everything that you're believing God for. Amen. I want, I, want, I want to prophesy and say this out loud. This is my year of achievement. This is my year for achievement. This is my year to succeed. This is my year that things will begin to manifest that I believe in God for. I'm not playing. Amen. Either I'm going to push back the plate, get in the posture to seek God to make some things happen. But this is my year. Hallelujah. I speak for your eyes to be corrected in Jesus' name. Are you sure on here? Or, yeah. Hallelujah. So, I decree and declare that we will no longer constantly dwell on the former things. But look forward to the things to come. Come on now. Look forward to the things to come. So I'm going to begin to pray, and then i got to get off of here. Amen. All right, I'm, I'll, I'll probably hop on uh, Facebook Live. 
and, and go minister to them. But dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, God. We exalt you, Jesus. God, we give you the glory, the honor, the praise, God. Lord God, we thank you that we're looking for a, a new thing, God. That, that The new things that you're going to do in our lives, Lord. God, we thank you in advance for doing something great in our lives, God. God, we honor you, Jesus, Lord God. For taking our life that was once meaningless and make it into a life that's meaningful for your glory, Jesus. Lord God, we're forever indebted to you, God. We thank you. And God, we thank you that we're going to keep our minds focused on you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Amen, you guys. I love you. Thank you for being a blessing to this ministry. If you want to sow and it's teaching today, you can go to my website. It's on my profile. Um, I forget my website, you guys. I got so many websites out there. <laughs> um, prophetisk.org or KimberlyHargraves.com. Amen. So I love you guys. I'm going to come back tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow night, I'm going to be prophesying. Friday and Saturday night at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. All right. And I'm going to open up this line. And I'm going to put the, the prayer line number on here. And I want you guys to call in. I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to give you the word of the Lord. Amen. Because a lot of people always come to me and be like, I need you. I want a word. And I, I just be so busy, you know. So I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a publisher, you know, I'm, I'm an author, it's, it's so many things, amen, I have my school, you know, so anyways, I'm going to make time to minister, amen, thank you for uh, that, uh, subscribe to my email list, if you're not subscribed on my website, I'm going to send out a free ebook soon, it's on. It's going to be on the supernatural, amen, see Jericho Mabel said, my finances have tripled after constantly sowing into this ministry, I give God praise, I thank God. Amen. That's that's awesome. I thank God for the people that got healed today. Amen. So go back and watch the replay. And we're going to come and then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue our series. Uh, becoming a better you. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk about exercising and eating right. Uh, I got a confession, you guys. I gained 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds. Yeah, but I was really skinny, though. So and I'm still skinny, but I just got to get used to it. But one of the things God has been working on me is um exercising yeah so so anyways i got convicted so i was like i don't want to teach this word but anyways i'm going to come back and teach this word about exercising and eating right all right god bless you talk to you later god bless